let us break away from the outdated concept of traditional and contemporary art. For eons of time, Sepik artists have used natural bush materials to sculpt and paint. And now they use Western art materials, especially for exhibitions. This is the Sepik art of today, and it has a timeless quality. Both the Pangle paintings and the works on paper are getting increasing interest in the international art world, so I interviewed Kawa Gita about his work. Kawa is um, showing me a board that he's prepared. It's a Pangle, that's a sailor's spade, and he's joined the, the different slabs already to paint. I've got two different Pangles, kind of same. One plan and the long plan more night. The big plan long. And the map is more. Kina sells low by Mary or bright price. Or now one plan and you can uh, triangle shape. Long putting your front. Long house. house boy. Yeah. And long inside long house or just long front uh, front, long. front long house boy. Yeah. In the same way that Aboriginal people use bark painting to tell the stories of the creation of the ancestors, Sepik people use the base of the sago palm frond and natural ochres to make paintings of their creation stories. These are called pangol in pidgin. These paintings are an essential part of men's spirit houses or house tambouran. They're placed in sets of multiple panels. For Yatmal people, one particular set of paintings is for bride price or merriment ceremonies. These paintings are called Bowie and they have specific designs. A house tambra long corrigo, and we got him this blood pango. Yes? Are you painting pango long bride price? This long, one will paint long long? Long and short one. Safe mark long house. Mm -hmm. They put him on top of the front roof of our house. Right. Now this pangle, what pangle painting are you going to put on this board? You get face, you get face, you find on different face from all Gabriel mask, uh, all kind, kind of design on board. From. When I'm space stuff, I put him on kind, kind of design stuff. Okay, I'm a good player. I take a uh, Long time for painting one plus pangle? No. One week, one month? No. no. And thank you. One plus day long straight in. No, you can, you can finish him long plus day. Depend long, chase long. In. Uh, colors, some plus color long ground like uh, ochre? Yes, all clay. I'm all this like ground and maybe in prepare. And more clay, yeah. Then white. Or some stone, slab black, and slab red, and the slab yellow. This is um, a water uh, waves. waves yeah. This is what we call sangre, a uh, plant from the bush tree. And the leaves fall down, the branch fall down. This, uh, this, is, this design used to stuck on uh, a plant of uh, leaves. When the leaves fall down, you see the design on the tree. In the 1970s, anthropologist Anthony Forge, medical doctor Robert McClelland, and also teachers Paul and Helen Dennett, each gave different CP communities Western art materials to create sets of paintings of their creation stories that would normally be painted on panels. McClellan exhibited the sets from Picago and Candigal that he collected in American museums. You like reading this by letter from Helen Dennett? The Dennett's also collected sets of paintings by senior Cambot artists. When I visited Cambot in 2010, I returned Helen Dennett's photographs from her time to the artists on her request. Yeah. 
Now the global art world has a renewed interest in sepik painting. In fact, huge structures representing Quoma and Avalam spirit houses with their special Pangal paintings were a feature at the Asia-Pacific Triennial at the Queensland Art Gallery in 2012.